Good morning, traders. Well, US dollar was notably, notably weaker in Thursday's session ahead of that pivotal non-farm payroll report later today. Uh, US dollar index falling for the fifth straight session and breaking below that 103 level to touch on those uh, lows that were set in January uh, January the 24th, actually, before finding a bit of support there. So risk on sentiment, fallen yields, uh, a weak jobless claims data as well being the main drivers of the greenbacks decline there. Uh, Japanese yen did see strong gains against the US dollar uh, on the back of some hawkish jawboning from Bank of Japan Governor Ueda and board member Nakagawa, uh, also helped by tightening in those US 10-year, Japanese 10-year yield differentials there. Uh, dollar yen continued to break below that psychological 150 level, hit a, a low of 147.59. Uh, Euro did also outperform the US dollar eventually, uh, with Euro US breaking below, uh, breaking above, sorry, that key 109 level and entering the APAC session at the, the highs of the New York session at 109.48. Um, Thursday's ECB policy meeting saw the central bank maintaining rates as expected. Uh, they also slashed inflation forecasts and think that uh, sees 2025 headline inflation at the 2% target. So this dovish tone um, initially saw the euro being the worst performer of the G10 currencies, but uh, it did turn around quite dramatically when it did really benefit from the acceleration in US dollar selling later in the US session. Uh, gold hit another all-time high, uh, seventh straight up session there, very steep rally. That uh, fall in yields, really a weaker US dollar, and it seems a desire for safe havens, which has also benefited uh, cryptos as well. Obviously, uh, pushed the precious metal up to uh, twenty one sixty US dollars an ounce. Ahead today, obviously that non farm payroll will be the the headline figure for the day.